This camera is the Bolex H8. I looked on YouTube and I couldn't find a video about it except for Noah's and she sent it back. So I came down to the dark room and I wanted to have a look at it in detail. Now, the first thing you notice is that it has a round bottom. Also the viewfinder it has a little lens right here that the light comes up. And then it has this little skinny square kind of focus finder with a space under it. It does have a side finder. And this one has the 12.5 and the 6.5 so it is made for this camera. It goes up to 36 and up to 75. So 12.5 millimeters is the standard size for this normal lens. Let's have a look inside. So you pick that up and you push it down and turn it half to the left. Actually, you turn it one-fourth to the left. Inside you have a film loading guide here. So the film goes in between these two rollers and you have to close the loop formers and then when you're done loading the film you have to manually push them open again. The camera will not open them for you. The posts are round and has the little lines on them and a little bump at the bottom. It takes the normal kind of uh, spool with the three flanges and the four flanges and just put it on there and press and holds. But this camera takes 100 foot rolls of film. So a Kodak reel fits, but it just wiggles a little bit. There's no spool ejector. I keep these cameras unwound. So the spring doesn't go bad. It works. Although that's a little crooked. It's not in all the way yet. The red line on top of the post points to the button. And this Kodak spool has the slot on both sides in the same place. So if you line that up with the red line, then the reel will turn smoothly and evenly. So it'll work just the way it is. Now I have post adapters in the H8 Rex that make this fit snugly. But they're not really needed. I'll just leave this in here. I'll line it up with the red line and it fits all the way to the bottom. I load these in the dark and I hold the edges like this of the round part between my thumb and forefinger and I can feel the top and the bottom and lets me line it up easily. Now the lid will not go on if this is not pushed up straight. So you push down and turn to the right. One fourth of a turn. Takes different kinds of lenses.
And the main thing about this camera is that the focus finder is at the top left of the turret. And it goes straight up and back and you look through the lens here to focus it. You set your diopter with this. You might have to wiggle this to get it to show a big picture. But you would point this at the sky and then set the diopter to your eye with this. Then you focus the lens through here and you bring it down to the taking position here and you look through this one to line up the picture. Don't forget to take off the lens cap. You will need a handle. Hmm. Could be a simple straight handle like this. It could be one of these handles. This is the one I prefer. Another option is to use a Bolex take-up reel that has a circle with a little slot in it. This would be good. It will prevent some of the rattling. I have two of those. I have two of the 50 foot. This Bolex H8 has a 1 30th of a second shutter speed. That's what I like the best about it. It makes it very easy to take motion pictures in the house if you're pushing the film. 1 30th of a second for this one at 16 frames a second. You can tell the H8 because it has this lens up here that goes straight up and has a little window up here. That's your focus finder. 